Hello and welcome by the Orchid Saga. Another episode of Blooms, Buds and Such, which basically is a uh, look around at the plants. At first I uh, thought I'm going to start with this. This really makes me happy. Sun. <laughs> it's so beautiful when the greenhouse lightens up and also the orchid room, which we will see in a minute. But yeah, I'm really a person uh, of uh, spring and summer. So uh, yeah, at, uh, these days, these winter days, with this uh, amount of sun, that makes me really happy. I'm really looking forward to uh, to spring. Uh, but in the meantime, this helps a lot, and also some uh, response from my uh, orchids, as this one, for example, this beautiful big Cattleya. I have this for about four years. Never had it in bloom. This needs uh, quite a bit, a bit of light. But it's a beauty and it's a really beautiful color. Also has a nice fragrance to it as well. This is my BLC New City. I showed it in the last video as well, I think. But now these blooms are uh, completely open. At least this one and this one is a little bit... Yeah, these petals should be uh, of sepals, I think. Should be uh, Could be open a little bit more. So that's the first thing I would uh, like to show. Then above this one, I just noticed because I watered my orchids this morning. This is my golden elf, Ivanagara golden elf. And it's making a flower spike. And it l looks like there in this sheet is also a spike. But to me it doesn't look that, the, that that one is really progressing. But this one is, so that's uh, very nice. Really looking forward to that one. It's a very special orchid for me. Then we have this one and Michael McCarthy was right because these are spikes I thought maybe these were uh, new growths this is a, a Lacaste that I did uh, bought on my uh, visit to Landsbergen that I shared and it came with three flower spikes and now you can see it making a six new ones three over here and three over there I believe it's six spikes let me see, check, yeah, so three already and six in the process of making, that is a heck of a lot of uh, spikes from one bulb, I don't know if it's normal with these types of uh, orchids, but uh, this, this is the only one that I have, the Lacaste, or Lacaste, so I'm not sure, maybe you have one, please let me know, but um, I think it's a heck of a lot of spikes. So that one is really enjoying the life here. Then here is my... Oh, I need to grab the tag. I can't remember on top of my head. Uh, Maxillara. Christanta. Don't know if you can read that. But I'm not really into the Maxillaras, to be honest. But this uh, is a first time bloomer for me. This, this is a bud. And it's making new one. Uh, new growth as well. So I only have one Maxillaria and I like it but not that much that I, I want more of these and this should be a yellow one but yeah I just noticed a, a nice bud growing there so soon we will uh, see the blooms and see uh, what color they have so that's nice and also my golden peacock is working on a beautiful spike very nice and quite easy to grow plant and it likes to bloom, so that's a, a big plus, I think. <laughs> um, then we have... I still have uh, aphids, so therefore I need to spray some plants here and there. This one was even making a spike. I did cut it off, because as you can see it really has shriveled bulbs. This one uh, lost its roots, this is my cherry baby. So I'm trying to recover it. And therefore we don't need uh, spikes because that will take too much energy, of course. My uh, Taiwan's black, with quite some spikes there, beautiful. But this one, this one is new. This is the uh, often called alien type shaped uh, dendrobium, or blooms in this case. Beautiful, three spikes, a fairly new plant for me. This one is, oh, I cannot reach the tag, I'm sorry. It's, I can reach it, I'm sorry, but it's, uh, it, a root is stuck to it, so I cannot uh, show it. If I can find it in my notes, I should, uh, yeah, I can find it in my notes. I will put it in the video. So you have it on screen by now, I think. 
and my twinkles are still blooming some blooms did fall off so I should clean it up oh yeah this is a bit of a sad story we will have a care clap on the cymbidium fairly soon but I only have yeah we have a few spots there but as you can see on the ground butt blast this spike completely uh, throughout his butts this one is doing that with a few as well I think not sure what the problem is to be honest because this uh, did bloom already a few months ago with two spikes and then the trips eat them then the trips came back so I need to uh, needed to treat these uh, spikes again so probably with the colder weather at night the combination wasn't good for them but otherwise I would lost them anyway with the trips on them so I think that is causing the problem here and then we have this beauty my mystic maze with a beautiful strong spike and I love those very vibrant colors this time on the blooms it's really getting stronger and enjoying the light I think in the greenhouse a really really beautiful contrast I hope it shows up nicely in the screen on those uh, flowers so yeah I think it's a really healthy uh, sign so that's here let's get over to the um, orchid room I need to bend a little bit because of the spikes of my uh, fells I always touch those too <laughs> I don't hope uh, that I make you dizzy I'm sorry if I turn a little bit too quickly <laughs> I keep forgetting it and this one is a new one first rebloom for me it's such a beauty fairly large blooms so beautiful and this one as well also a new bloomer do we have more new blooms on here not yet my epidendrum orange one and this one is also in bloom also no this is my first epidendrum it's more a little bit more in between orange and yellow beautiful one if you ask me so let's go inside the orchid room that's the door <laughs> we have here a very heavy spike on my sturbic I had to uh, use a stake because it was uh, literally laying on the floor this morning it's really getting top heavy but now it's okay I think they uh, will hang over a little bit and that's okay we still uh, have two buds here on my uh, Miltoliopsis probably will have more they do well but I will make a separate video for those what I noticed this morning while watering as well is that a lot of my oh, no, not, yeah, I don't know if no not a lot but more of my uh, odontoglossum types are making two spikes instead of one first I always had one but I think I'm uh, doing a better job and we are always learning I think and I think it pays off with the with the spikes and the overall health of the plants of course but I this one has two spikes as has this one this one has very large spikes and my Mesa Red always have multiple spikes and there was another one where are you yes of course how could I forget it's this one here is a spike and there's a spike this is my odontoglossum Carla says it on the on label so this one has an actual label I'm sorry for <laughs> that guys I knew there was another one with two spikes and this one has a flower spike here this is an old one but it still uh, hangs on to that and it's also making a new one and new growths oh no it's the same spike <laughs> I thought it was another one um, but yeah they are doing well really well and look at the sun oh this is so much it's such a nice sight having the sun shining on the, on those leaves it's a bit strong for a backlight I think let me move over to here so you can see uh, the sun beautiful hitting the uh, the plants and the leaves but also some grow light so they're getting quite a quite an amount of light uh, today that's beautiful 
And my psychos, I will not go to into them too much because we have a psycho care collab or revisit going on. And this one is the one that I uh, did repot not that long ago, that brutal repot, but it makes at least a beautiful spike, healthy one. But I will have a close up uh, soon on the channel. So if you are interested in that, keep an eye on the, that video, it will be here soon. I think uh, on the end of January, something like that. And I also will have a closer uh, look at my, uh, like I said, on my uh, Miltonias, because that's uh, also quite nice. We have spikes here. I hope you can see it. This one wasn't doing so well, but it's come coming back. It, make, it makes a lot of roots there. And this is the, from the Incas, Blossom Falls. And I think I have an exact same one there. Not sure, but that one is also making a spike here. So we can compare the two fairly soon. These were also from the Landsbergen uh, Hall. And they're starting to come back again to make some roots. The bulbs do look very shriveled on this one. This one is making two new growths and it also has still that flower spike on where it did branched, but it's also have has a roots in a pot now. So therefore I'm leaving them on for now. Look at this one. This is also making a heck of a lot of roots. This is my Ballara Torero. Torero. Oh yeah, this one is a first time bloomer for me. Beautiful little bloom. Very vigorous plant and this is Oh don't oh don't Tonia Fiona Eisler. Beautiful one, I think, but very beautiful uh, bloom. So, yeah, that's uh, a update for now. And as usual, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them uh, in the comment section. And like I said, I have uh, at least two um, care collabs for this month. And probably in between, I will keep you updated and film those beautiful blooms. And uh, for now, I hope to uh, see you at one of my next videos. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.